How are we doing, guys? We back with another reaction to the Prophet series. This one is... Well, in English, I guess it's Seth. But Sheath, I think it actually is. It's number two. Okay, we already did a uh, Prophet series, Adam. So if you haven't checked that one out, go check it out. I posted it the other day. Um, <clears throat> anyways, let's get into it. And then after the death of Adam... It was his son, Shaith, Shaith, which took over the leadership of his father, and he was the second prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Shaith was a gift, and even the name Shaith means gift. Um, just to clarify, I know nothing about Shaith. I've never learned about him ever in life, I don't think. So this is all going to be new for me. So bear with me. Shaith was a gift that was given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to Adam after the death of his son Habil. When he lost Habil, he was very upset. So Allah azza wa jal replaced Habil with Shaith. Not only a righteous man, but a prophet of Allah. And Adam named him Shaith as a gift. And Adam alayhi salam taught Shaith most of the knowledge that he had. Al Rasul sallallahu said about Sheath, Allah sent down 104 scriptures. Of them were 50 that were sent down upon Sheath. Adam alayhi salam, prior to his death, he used to live with Sheath alayhi salam and with all these other children of his in the mountains. Qabil decided to go to the valleys and to go to the flat land somewhere further away. And Shaith started to order with justice. On the other hand, Qabil and his descendants were just spreading corruption and evilness. So you had the people living in the mountain, the people of the good, and the people of evilness living on the flat surface of the land. And life started to increase. Adam السلام, had forbidden that the people of the mountains mix with the people of the land. Because of that rule, there had never been that mixing. Adam السلام, died and she kept that rule. And they followed it, they did not mix and they were saved to a great degree. After some time, a problem arose. If we recall, Shaitan when he refused to prostrate to Adam, Alayhi salatu wassalam, he made a promise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says, I promise you, I will show you, I'll lead them astray. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, go and try and befool them gradually as you wish. Go and use your sound. What is the sound of shaitan? The mufassireen, almost all of them have made mention of music and musical instruments. Allah says, go and try. You can use your sounds. You can use your cavalry you can use your infantry and go and be a partner in their wealth what was that meant to be look at the books of tafsir they all make mention of illegal income and the next part of the verse says go and be a part of their relationships as well in their children you can have a portion and what the Mufassireen say is this means go and encourage them to do what you want in terms of illicit sexual behavior. Whoever follows you from amongst them, they are losers. They will be with you in hellfire. But my worshippers who worship me, who have turned to me, you will never be able to overpower them. So Shaitan from that time, he bore this in mind. He decided that I will go to those who are with Qabil and pretend like I've defected from Sheikh. Now there was a distinct sign. You could see very clearly the men from Qabil's side were not very good looking. And the women were very good looking. When it comes to where Sheath alayhi salam and the rest of them were, the men were very good looking and the women were not that good looking. He made himself to a form of a young boy and he went to a blacksmith who used to work with metal. And he asked if he could be an apprentice for that blacksmith. And what he did was, he worked for him and he designed a flute. He slowly started making sounds that people had never heard before. 
Because there were no sounds that people had heard. That was the beginning of time. And everybody would come. What's that sound? And they would come around him and watch. And he started blowing into it. And it created a sound. And they came and they were excited. Wow. And they got so engrossed in it. They slowly started forgetting the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yet, on the other hand, Sheet alayhi salam kept on reminding his people. And he kept on telling his people what was right and what was wrong and so on. And on this hand, we find that shaitan is teaching them how to do evil. They literally set aside a day where he would create these sounds. Everybody would come around and everybody would listen to him. And everybody would literally party. Until there came a time when some of the youth from Sheet alayhi salatu was salam were visited by shaitan. He went to them and he created a doubt in their minds. He made them ask a question. He made them question the law of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why is it that we are not allowed to mix with these relatives of ours? What is so bad about them? So when they started asking this question, it was answered for them that look, Qabil had engaged in a crime right at the beginning. He engaged in murder. And for this reason, they were all on one side and we are ordered not to mix with them. These youth were dissatisfied with the answer. Some of them decided, let's just have a peep at what's happening because we've heard that here things are going on. Let's go and see. So they came down from the mountains and they went. And from a distance they were watching. They did not intend to engage in evil. But when they saw everybody's partying, and what did they see? They saw very good looking females. And so they went closer. And when they went closer, they were seen. And they were good looking men. So the women began to start displaying their beauty. In order to attract these young men, they came in. And they enjoyed themselves. They had music. They had women. They had so much. They were partying. They were enjoying. And they went away. So as the men came back, they told the other youngsters, Hey, you don't know what you're missing out on. You see there, they've got different sounds. And these sounds are amazing. These people came back with a bigger group. And the group was growing. And every time that party happened, there were people from this side who used to quietly go to that side. And they used to engage in sin. Music was invented. And what else was invented? Adultery. This is when Zina began. Slowly but surely, with the introduction of this first flute and music, which called for a celebration between men and women gathering and dancing. And over time, Zina was carried out. And they even were killing one another. Was something becoming very common? Keep in mind, people did not commit shirk as yet. Shirk at this time had not been done. But bit by bit, bit by bit, the shaitan was taking the human beings to the second level, to the third level, to the fourth level. After Adam alayhi salam, Sheath lived on for a few more decades. And some of the uh, narrations and scholars agree that Sheath alayhi salam, from his progeny, from his children came most of the prophets. Most of the prophets ended up with him. And some say all of the prophets ended up in his lineage. At his deathbed after him, he entrusted it to his most noble son. His name was Enos, who carried out his mission after him. Then after him, his son Kenan, and then his son Muhallalal took the charge of the mission. After him came a son named as Jared, who took charge of his mission. And here the next man that came after him, the Quran mentions him. His name is Idris alayhi salam. Okay, so the next one is Idris. Um, just like last one, I didn't obviously pause that much because I'm just kind of like focused on learning. Uh, so if you guys know more about this, that you'd like to share, let me know. Um, some of you were very informative on the last one as well. So it was great. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, let me know more about uh, Shaith. And let me know if you want me to watch the next one. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I think I'm going to get some food. I'm hungry. I'll see you guys later. I love you.